happened, everybody? You're looking at the night sky, and you suddenly see a streak of white, and then you see another one. Hmm, what do you think that is? Well, first off, I might ask you, when did you see this? This date really matters on dating meteor showers, because most likely what you saw was the meteor shower. Most know throughout in November, the Leonide meteor shower. The Leonine meteor shower often happens in November 6th to November 21st. There is a, like a broad, basically, like a lot of days where this meteor shower can be seen. So you better watch out. Now, this meteor shower is basically the biggest meteor shower in the whole year. Meaning, there is up to 100 meteors that you can see falling through. The biggest hit was in 1833, where over 10,000 meteors came streaming through the sky. Of course, the people were like, ah, this is the end of the world, because they had no idea that the meteors were basically just meteors. So, first of all, you might notice in the name, Leonine, as in Leo the Lion, the constellation. Hi, Leo, say hi. It is basically why is it called the Leonine Shower? Well, because people mostly see it near the top center of the constellation Leo, and they seem to be falling from there. Leo, nine. I don't know where the nine part comes from, but I sure know where the Leo part comes from. Hey, nine. Good, you're famous over here. Okay, now, the Leonine Shower. Why is there a Leonine Shower in the first place? Well, first off, think of it like this. There's always comets orbiting the sun, right? Like with bits, like basically like heated clumps of bits of rock, ice, dust, and basically that's how they get your, their tail at something. And they orbit around the sun, like planets do. These comets usually get burned up and then they shed some of these bits of rock particles, dust particles, or ice particles into the orbit of the planets. And so when Earth passes by one of the particles or a lot of the particles left by the comet that was in its orbit, then basically these particles enter the Earth's atmosphere, which are because they are pulled by the Earth's gravity. And so in the atmosphere, they start to burn up and heat off. And in front of them, it becomes 14 times the 212 Fahrenheit, which is 100 Celsius boiling point. Of course, that means they're really hot, and so they heat up and they glow. And that's why you can see them during the night, you know, white balls of white, pure fire, as some people call it. Some people even call them shooting stars, but technically that's untrue because stars can't move around. They just stay in one place and glow. Unless they're basically at the end of the time frame, which we will talk about in another video soon. So, now, now you know why the Leonides happen. And it happens every single year. So the good thing is, if you miss it one year, you can always look forward to it the next year. And you might want to find a really good position, like in a countryside or something, not in the city where there's a lot of blaring lights there, which is basically where I live, actually, on the second thought. <laughs> but just basically pull your sleeping bag over into your backyard, if your parents will let you, of course, and then just gaze up at the eastern sky, like west, east. So like... If this was north, then east would be over here. So you basically lay on your back like this, and then you can enjoy the meteor shower. So, now you know. Pull the sleeping bag over into your backyard, and, well, enjoy.